All right, you readers and writers, we have made so much progress. Let's keep it going with today's assessment. We'll be decoding, working on fluency, and doing a spelling review. This is Module 2, Cycle 8, Lesson 40. Materials! You will definitely need paper and pencil to be successful on the assessment. Get those materials now. Here are our learning targets. Follow along. I can review vowel spelling patterns from cycles six through eight. R controlled, A R, E R, I R, and U R, O I, O Y, O U, and O W, as ow and oi, ild, old, eind, and ost. The second learning target says, I can apply what I've learned to read and write words in isolation and in text. Transition song. Do you know why we learn to read, learn to read, learn to read? Do you know why we learn to read? That's a great question indeed. Do you know why we learn to spell, learn to spell, learn to spell? Do you know why we learn to spell? Let's come together and tell. Word work. We need to review all of the patterns that we've been learning. There are so many like R controlled, oi, and ow as well as those closed syllable exceptions we've been learning this cycle. Let's organize our review using this chart. First, we'll take a look at our R-controlled sounds we know. Of course, AR says R, like in car and park. OR says OR, like in corn and storm. And then ER, IR, and UR all make the ER sound, like her, third, and burn. Next, we learned about ow and oi, and those were spelled a couple different ways. We saw that OU made the ow sound in the middle of a word, like loud and proud, while OW made the ow sound at the end of a word, like now and plow. Then we learned about the oi sound, where oi made the oi sound in the middle of a word, like spoil and coin, and oy made the oi sound at the end of the word, like ploy or cowboy. And most recently, we've looked at these closed syllable exceptions, making the long i and long o sound. We saw that ILD, spelled I-L-D, can be found in words like child and wild. Then we saw that EIND, spelled I-N-D, is found in words like mind and behind. Then we looked at those long O patterns, where O-L-D said OLD, like TOLD and SCOLD, and O-S-T said OST, like in host and compost. That's a lot to review, but we'll try it out with some reading and some spelling. Transition song. It's time to spell and decode to show what we're learning. It's time to spell and decode to show what we've learned. All right, it's time to practice using a list of words. As I show each word, do your best and read it out loud. Go ahead. How'd you do? Some of those are real words, while some are nonsense words to help us practice our pattern. Follow along as I read them so you can check and see how you did. Shirt, smarts, 
hoist, fold, finding, hound's tooth, mild snap. Great job. Next, we'll have a list of some of the high frequency words we've been practicing. Again, just do your best to read them out loud. I'm sure you did great. Check them as I read them. Orange, doesn't, together, hello, weird, nice job. Fluency. All right, now's your chance to practice that fluent reading we've been working so hard on. You'll see a passage and your job is to just read it as fluently as you can. Here we go with the first one. Go ahead. If you did a great job with that one, try this one. I'm sure you read smoothly with expression and meaning at just the right speed. Follow along as I read so you can check and see how you did. The first one says, the boy is kind and the cow is cold. He gave her a rug to sleep on. The second passage says, I enjoy looking at the colors in the clouds at sunset. Sometimes people come and join me. It's great to look at the sky together. Nice reading. Writing. Now's our chance to practice our spelling using all of those spelling patterns we've been learning. Go ahead and get your paper and pencil ready to go so you can do your best spelling. Here we are. Go ahead and write out the first word, plow. When it snows, it's nice to have a plow for your driveway. Try the word scout. She will scout the trail ahead for the rest of the group. Scout. Try the word blindfold. The children each wore a blindfold to play the game. Blindfold. Next is the word mostly. Today's weather will be mostly sunny. Mostly. All right, spellers, let's check your work. Here's the list. I'm sure you did a great job. Our last task is to write out a sentence. Listen carefully as I read it so that you're able to spell it the best you can using our spelling patterns we've been practicing. Here's the sentence. I want to shout for joy. I want to shout for joy. Remember to start with a capital letter and to end the sentence with punctuation. In this case, you'll be using a period. Go ahead.
I want to shout for joy. All right, the second sentence you'll need to write should say, it's kind of you to hold this flower. It's kind of you to hold this flower. Write it out. Check over both of your sentences as you finish. They'll be on the screen in just a moment so you can check your work. Here they are. Check both of them. Great job with your reading and your spelling. I am so proud of your hard work. Closing reflection. How does getting feedback from an assessment help us set goals? Think about how we were able to assess our own work with feedback as we went through today's assessment together. And how does setting goals help us become more proficient readers and writers? Excellent reading and writing today. You have been working so hard and should be so proud of yourself. We have a few more cycles until we get to the end of the module. Make sure we're finishing strong. I'll see you next time.